Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Played Up Learning the Basics food card tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the dish fish, how to go about cooking it, tips and tricks, as well as all of the fish specific extra cards, food cards that you can get that pertain to the fish run. Now, fish is one of those unique dishes that you start with blue fish and red fish as a main. So you will start with two of the bins that you see on the screen. And the thing with fish is that the bins are always randomized, which means that the blue fish will never be in the same spot every single day, nor will the red fish, or if you have any other selections, because it is listed as, well, here it already says it on the card, fish vary each day, so make sure you're ready for anything. Meaning you cannot set up, say, a blue fish automation line, because the blue fish may be red fish. It could be oysters, it could be crab cakes, depending on the other cards you have. Now, I do have a tutorial on how to automate fish, your red, blue, oysters, and fish fillets. There's a tutorial. If you search my channel at the Ontario Gardener and you type in fish automation, the video will show up. Now, I also have a crab cake automation tutorial. It's slightly outdated, but the way that it works still is proper today. Again, you can search automating crab cakes on my the Ontario Gardener YouTube channel. Now, without further ado, fish is one of the easiest ones to get into because all it is is basically taking a fish and you're cooking it and you're plating it, you're serving. That's it. It's pick a fish, cook it, plate it, serve it. It's very simple to start with. Now, you do start with red and blue. I only have the, the, the fish recipe for blue, but it's exactly the same as red. Now, blue fish takes slightly longer to cook than red fish. That's the only difference between the two. They are treated the same way as far as cooking and preparing. Basically, you pick up a fish, you put it on any sort of cooking surface, which could be your starter hobs. It could be a regular hob, a safety hob, danger hob, an oven, a microwave, and even the heated mixer, which counts as a heating or cooking appliance, which I would never recommend cooking fish. These fish, when I get to the one of the cards, I will suggest potentially using a mixer, a heated mixer for that. But anyway, you put it on there, you cook it, you plate it, you serve it. Very, very simple. Now, one of the cards you can get is oysters. Oysters require no cooking at all, but they do require chopping. So you need to put it on something that does the chopping action, which is a countertop, a workstation, or a mixer. If you have the sharp knife, it will obviously make your speed incredibly fast, pretty much instant to chop an oyster. Now, oysters come in either groups of two or groups of three on a plate. No one will only order one oyster, it's either two or three. So it does take a bit of time to chomp them and to plate them, especially if you get a lot of people having oysters. So oysters is one of those ones that is good to automate early if you can. And even automating having a the oyster bin, well, whichever one it is, goes and you have a mixer with a grabber going into a prep station or a mixer, a conveyor mixer. So when I say mixer and conveyor, you could also use a conveying mixer. It does the same action in one tile versus two, but conveyor mixers aren't as common as regular mixers and conveyors slash grabbers. Anyway, because you need two and three per order, it uses a lot of oysters quickly. But again, nothing is required to cook. You could automate it as well in the video that I mentioned earlier. If you go to it, it has it set up that automatically or that automation for oysters are there no matter where the bin is for oysters. <laughs> the next one is going to be, I'm gonna to go to fish fillet first <laughs> because crab cakes are quite involved. Now fish fillet gives you 15% minus reduction. Obviously, actually the oysters give you 15% reduction in customers as well. Fish fillet, pretty simple. It requires one more action. You take the fillet, you chop it, or you basically cut it on a cutting surface. You put it on a cooking device and you cook it. Now, fish fillets cook incredibly fast compared to redfish and, 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 and very, very fast compared to bluefish. So if you're using a danger hob, you have to be very careful. If you're using an oven, you have to be very careful unless you have it automated using safety hobs, which then again, safety hobs work just fine. Now, here's the only one of the dishes that I'm explaining that I would that I could almost recommend using a heated mixer if you get one. Because if you put a filet on a heated mixer, not only will the mixer perform the chop action to chop the filet or cut the filet, it'll also cook it. So that's a very 
easy way because the fillets take less time to cook. It's a reasonable amount of time to use a heated mixer. Now, granted, if I'd have other appliances, I wouldn't use it at all. But I'm just saying a heated mixer can definitely be used to cook fillets because they don't take ages to cook. Now, I'm going to go to one more thing and then I'm going to go back to the crab cakes. So that's the most involved. The last card you could get or the third card you could get is fish selection, which adds one fish slot. Now, you cannot get the fish selection card unless you have one of the other three fishes. Because you fish bins, because you start with red and blue, you start with two bins. You have to have either oysters, fillet, or crab cakes in order to get the fish selection card. Because otherwise, it would be left blank because you can't have two bins of blue or two bins of red. It doesn't work that way. But I guess it's a pretty, you don't have a reduction, but it's not bad. It just gives more work because more people have more options then. <laughs> now, crab cakes is the hardest one of the fish to use because it involves three separate steps plus a cooking step. But basically you grab the crab, you chop it on a cutting surface. You could use a mixer as well. You then also grab an egg, same thing on a cutting surface or a mixer to make it into egg. You combine the egg and the um, crab, and then you can then combine that with your flour, which turns it into that white color, which is on the right-hand side of the flour. And then you cook it on any of the cooking devices, cooking, and then you cook it, turns from that kind of white color to the two brown crab cakes. Now, you always get two per order. It's just the way the icons work. There is only one order of crab cakes, um, but because it's plural, adding crab cakes, you get more than one per order, but that's just the icon. You only will get one, and they'll only order one, compared to oysters, which they could order two or three separately. Now, crab cakes can be automated as well. I have a tutorial I mentioned in the beginning part of the video. If you search the Ontario Gardener automating crab cakes, it is on there how to automate this, which saves a lot of time because this is a very difficult dish to automate. Now, the automation for, the, for crab cakes is not how you would automate the other four dishes. Redfish, bluefish, we can go back to the main menu here. Redfish, bluefish, fillets, and oysters can be all automated using the same system. Crab cakes have to have their own system to automate. It cannot be combined because it, it just doesn't work because of the way the automation works. But anyway, thank you guys very much. Stay tuned for another Played Up Learning the Basics food card tutorial. Thanks for watching.